Hey everybody, it's Greg from Rev, and today I'm here to talk to you about a little bit about our 2022-23 uh, FTC starter bot for PowerPlay. Uh, our starter bot program started last year uh, when we got a request from FIRST to try to create a robot built solely out of pieces from our FTC starter kit V3, the one that comes in the storefront, um, to play 60-65% of the game. Um, so we used a lot of the prototyping concepts that we did during kickoff concepts uh, to put it all together into this robot. And I'll tell you a little bit about this robot in just a second. But I wanted to let you know what this robot and what the, what the starter bot is all about. It's not about delivering you a set of plans or instructions that you're going to use to go win the world championship. It's about giving you an opportunity, if you don't know where to start, to follow a set of blueprints, follow a set of plans, step by step, seeing the code, how everything's put together, how it's wired, to give you that first robot experience that applies directly to this year's game. We think there are some great elements within this robot that you might want to take and evolve, or you could even take this one to your first competition. Will it be the best robot on the field? Probably not, but it will be a great foundational way to start if you don't know where to start. Uh, we got a lot of great feedback from teams last year who built the starter bot in different regions, and it really gave them a sense of how to start the season and how to do things in a way um, just to kind of get going and get their ideas going of what's possible and how to do it, especially if you're very new to robotics. We highly encourage you to build this robot, play with it, learn the things that you like about it, and then you can disassemble it, evolve it, add different things to it. Um, but it's very discreet, and most likely you have all the parts for this in your shop already. So that's what the starter bot's all about. So this is what we came up with for this year's game. This year's game has a lot of interesting challenges because of the heights involved. Um, and we don't actually have a lot of linear motion parts in our starter kit. So what we did is we kind of moved on uh, using an arm. So this complicated arm that you see here is actually, uh, in robotics terms, it's a virtual double reverse four bar. And all that means is that we're using the chain here on the first stage in conjunction with a secondary link to make sure that our gripper stays parallel throughout the entire stage of motion. So the movement of this axle here is straight up and down. So this is effectively the same as if you were gonna do an elevator, but we're using an arm and some chain to give you that same motion. Linkages are awesome. So this uh, robot features a standard six wheel drivetrain that comes in the kit. We use Omni wheels on the back um, so that we can try to move the axis of rotation closer to the front. Uh, it is almost full size, 18 by 18. Um, it does get around the field, but I will say that with all the posts at the corner of the tiles, this is a pretty big robot for this year's game. So one of the things that I think that there's opportunity to get better on here is maybe trying to shrink the drivetrain down a little bit to be a little bit more compact for the field of play. Uh, for the intake, um, we used the standard servo one-sided intake that we featured in one of our other intake videos. This one is pretty simple as it just comes straight down on the cones and it picks them up and grabs them and then it's in the grip. Um, you may not be able to see it that well on camera, but we also have a cutout here in the base plate so that you can just drive and these cones will self-center as your drivetrain moves, which makes picking up a much easier task. Here's what it looks like when it goes up and down. This can lift and reach the entire top mechanism and score on any one of the uh, poles on the field. Um, giving you that flexibility allows you to focus on um, positional. And we see that this robot concept leans into the strategy of because it's a much bigger drive base, this one is probably better at trying to like bulk fill the poles as opposed to trying to weave through the field and trying to place them on specific spots. But with this mechanism, you can completely pick up and score at will anywhere on the field. Um, 
It's a pretty simple robot. It only has four motors and one servo on it. So you can build this with a singular control hub and you don't need any additional parts. Uh, we'll probably make a follow-up video with some uh, examples of how you might want to expand upon this robot design if you were to add some additional parts to it. But we really wanted to focus on giving you a base design where you could didn't have to go out and buy a bunch of extra stuff. You could build something that plays this year's game with the parts that you have in your shop. So that is uh, our starter bot. Um, and as always, the starter bot will be accompanied by a step-by-step -step build guide. Um, so you'll be able to build, see the, how to build this with individual steps and, and photos. Um, we will also have code uh, available that you'll be able to download right under your control hub without having to do any programming yourself. Um, and that'll be for uh, both Onbot Java and for Blockly. And uh, so with that, we really hope that this concept gives you a, a really nice uh, start to the season, and that's why it's the starter bot. And uh, if you have any feedback for us, uh, please feel free to let us know, and you'll be able to find all the documentation on our documentation site at docs.revrobotics.com. Good luck this season.